Regenerative agriculture supports biodiversity, enriches the soil, improves water sheds, and increases the capacity of the soil to capture carbon. Olbising is a 47-member farmer group in Letterquart Parish, Kuelo Sub-County, Kole District. With support from Sasakawa Africa Association, the group established this quarter-acre demonstration firm where farmers collectively participate and learn. This garden is here for the farmer and the community around to learn from it. And when you learn, you have to copy what they have demonstrated there, you go and practice it in your own garden. We teach here regenerative agriculture, whereby you grow not to destroy the soil, to minimize the soil for future use. In Tipolo village, Kole district, with support from Sasakawa Africa Association, Bala Women and Youth Cooperative, a 280 member farmer group has planted soybean. We wanted to plant about 300 hectares, but due to shortage of the seeds from plantation seeds from Makere, we planted only 258 acres this season. Climate Smart Agriculture is another one of Sasakawa Africa Association's initiative to help guide actions to transform agriculture food business systems towards green and climate resilient practices. In Lukese village in Nakaseke district, the 21-member farmer group Kugumi Kiriza farmers are using solar-powered sprinkler irrigation to grow vegetables. This was a donation from Food and Agriculture Organization FAO following recommendations from Sasakawa Africa Association after seeing farmers struggle to irrigate their gardens with handheld watering cans. It is a, a model village which was selected by Sasakawa in 2018 and it is going to show climate smart agriculture technologies in the whole central Uganda. Sasakawa Africa Association encourages smallholder farmers to cultivate nutritious crops to not only improve nutrition but also target the market. Sasakawa Africa Association is committed to improving nutrition in rural Africa to mitigate the negative impact of malnutrition on early childhood development. In Lango Sub County, in Otuke District, Community-based facilitators and extension staff prepare highly nutritious porridge for patients at Alango Health Center facility, a program aimed at filling a gap in the community nutrition. It is part of uh, nutrition training, which was brought by Sasakawa to complement the government program. Sasakawa Africa Association promotes the empowerment of youth who comprise a large percentage of the population with skills in business development, entrepreneurship and agro-processing technology dissemination with the aim to improve their livelihood. After dropping out of school at a tender age following the death of his father, Geoffrey Munyengera struggled to earn a living by engaging in rudimentary fabrication of maize threshing machines in Mayuge district. His ingenuity attracted Sasakawa Africa Association's attention but offered to have him train to upgrade his skills. Now with an established fully-fledged workshop, Munyengera has manufactured over 700 machines which have been bought by farmers and agro-processors across the country. Helen Edway, a widow, is a private service provider in Aguchiri, Kwanya district, who has acquired one of Munyengera's machines. She assigned it to her son, who operates it to shell maize and groundnuts for farmers in the district. Geoffrey Munyengera has trained many youth, who have subsequently set up their own workshops across the country. Okelo Dennis, a Munyengera apprentice, set up a metal fabrication workshop in a Town Council, Kole District, where he trains a number of youth in metal fabrication. One-stop center associations developed by Sasakawa Africa Association in Uganda are community-best farmers' facilities, which host farmer groups as part of capacity-building efforts of their members. Located in Zirowe Luero District, the Zirowe Agali Awamu Agribusiness Training Association, ZABTA, serves a total of 73,300 farmers in the neighboring communities. Farmers access a wide range of services in one location, including agro-processing, marketing of their produce, a training facility, drying facility, storage facility, a credit saving scheme, and agro-input shop. 
it was an initiative of, of Sasakawa to say that the farmer is supported across the whole agricultural value chain to make sure that the farmer is not left at any of the stage. Sasakawa Africa Association in Uganda has adopted e-extension platforms designed to close the information gap between smallholder farmers and their stakeholders along the agricultural value chain by utilizing ICT. Joseph Sewachidianga is a commodity association trader who operates an agro-input outlet in Jokerod village, Bukomedo sub-county in Chiwoga district. It simplifies my business because I have a lot of customers I serve, they just put the inputs and even me, I deliver to them. Sasakawa Africa Association believes that stabilizing the entire food system is necessary to solve the challenges facing African agriculture, hence the emphasis on empowering smallholder farmers to help them realize their livelihood aspirations. Sasakawa Africa Association, working with the farmer.